Assalamualaikum. Welcome to our online class. I hope all of you are fine at home by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Dear student, today I am going to teach you chapter 9. Our today's topic is the United Nations and Bangladesh. I will take two classes to make you understand the chapter. Dear students, the chapter is very much important not only for SSC examination. When you will sit for BCS examination or other recruitment test, you will have to know about this topic very well. So, get ready to do the class. After doing the class, you will be able to know about human rights, background of the United Nations, structure of the United Nations, objectives of the United Nations, and the role or functions of the United Nations in Bangladesh. Dear students, the main objective of forming United Nations is to establish human rights. We know that no man can be fully developed without human rights. What is human rights? Human rights mean having ownership of privileges and opportunities of a human being for his or her survival. And then you again, human rights mean having ownership of privileges and opportunities of a human being for his or her survival. We see that Two world wars, named First World War and Second World War, held in 20th century. Due to these two world wars, the human rights had been infringed. Millions of people were put to death in these wars. Widespread devastation that took place during the First World War in 1914 made the human being greatly afraid of such war and sincerely desirous for peace and harmony. Consequently, this time the leading countries of the world got united to peace and thus they founded the League of Nations with a view to reestablish peace. But this organization utterly failed to serve the purpose, which rather resulted in causing the Second World War in 1939. The consequence of the Second World War was more stigmatized and panicky than that of the First World War in the history of human civilization. At this time, the leading nations of the world formed the United Nations to establish world peace. Now, we will know about the background of forming United Nations. We see that the duration of First World War is 1914 to 1919. People observed huge devastation during this period. So, in that time, the arbitrating peace loving people are not silent towards the devastation. Consequently, they formed the League of Nations on 10th January 1920. The League of Nations was formed in order to maintain international peace and security. But the onset of the World War II showed that the League of Nations had failed to maintain the world peace due to its organizing toothlessness and other vulnerability. Again, the destruction of Second World War in 1939 engulfed the whole world, whose duration was 1939 to 1945. Millions of people died, got injured and crippled, and became homeless. Every country
country lost their young generation, capable of working. However, the open fight caused by the Second World War made the poor concern, panicking and gave them a job. So that the world leadership of that time felt the necessity of a new international organization to maintain peace and security under the circumstances. Subsequently, in 1943, two conferences were held named Tehran Conference and Moscow Conference. In that time, four major powers were in that conferences that are USA, UK, Russia and France. These leading countries are trying to keep peace and security in the world. Subsequently, United Nations was formed on 24th October 1945. That is why the 24th October is observed as United Nations Day. Dear students, every member country of United Nations observe the day as United Nations Day. Now, I will discuss on the structure of the United Nations. Dear students, there are five orders in United Nations to conduct its own activities. Number one, General Assembly. There are 193 member states in general assembly. 193. The members of the United Nations also 193. These students, the general assembly is called deliberative assembly also. Deliberative The another name of General Assembly is Deliberative Assembly. Secretariat. The Secretariat of United Nations is situated in New York City of United States of America. Security Council. This is the most important organ of the United Nations. There are 15 member states. Dear students, out of 15 member states, 5 member countries are permanent. These 5 countries are USA, UK, Russia, France and China. These 5 member countries have a special power named veto power. Veto means I don't agree. These countries can nullify any decision by exercising their veto power. Dear students, now I am going to discuss on economic and social currency. Economic and social currency. In short form, it is called ECOSOP. ECOSOP. The organization assists the General Assembly in monitoring international economic and social cooperation and development. The International Court of Justice. It is also an another important organ of United Nations. The Secretariat of International Court of Justice is situated in the Head of Netherlands. The head is situated in Netherlands. There was another order named trusteeship. It is inactive now. Dear students, the trusteeship was formed with a view to looking 
after such regions not independent so far this type of regions are not existent in the world now that is why the activity of trusteeship is postponed so there are five organs only have you understood about the five organs of united nations bangladesh got the membership of united nations in 1974 dear students bangladesh got its membership as 136 member try to keep in your mind bangladesh got its membership in united nations as 136 member now i am going to discuss on the objectives of the united nations dear students the main objectives of united nations is to keep peace and harmony in the world now we will see the objectives of united nations keeping peace throughout the world by eliminating all types of threats aggressive disposition and activities that may cause to break the peace number 2 developing friendly relations this right friendly relations among all countries all countries means all its member countries developing friendly relations among all countries in the fields of economy society and culture as well four encouraging respect for each others fundamental rights each other fundamental rights and freedom for all without distinction as to race gender language or religion this is very much important i am telling you again encouraging respect for each others fundamental rights and freedom for all without distinction as to race gender language or religion five settling international disputes international disputes by international rules in peaceful manner six recognizing the rights of self discipline for every nation and seven following modus operandi modus operandi of the united nations in order to implement the objective in cooperation with the united nations dear students modus operandi means the rules and regulations to conduct any organization here modus operandi means the rules and regulations for conducting the activities of united nation i hope all of you have understood the objectives of the united nation now i will discuss on the role or function of the united nation in bangladesh dear students we feel proud that our father of the nation bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman delivered his speech in bangla in 1974 in the general assembly of united nation his speech drew attention of the world community we got our membership also in 1974 all missions of united nations are working in our country they have been working in bangladesh for changing the social economic condition and development of our country by this time four secretary generals at different times visited bangladesh try to keep in your mind four secretary generals of united nations visited bangladesh although bangladesh's contribution 
to the United Nations is not much so far. But Bangladeshi troops play an effective role on conducting peacekeeping missions by laying down their lives in the street. Besides, after being a member state of the United Nations, Bangladesh has been playing an important role towards this international organization. Dear students, Bangladesh was elected as transient member of the Security Council for two years. You know that there are 10 members of Security Council are transient. They are elected for two years. And Bangladesh also was elected one time that was 1979 to 1980, this duration. And in 1986, in that time, our foreign minister, Mr. Kumar Roshi Choudhury, presided the General Assembly. It was the 41st session of General Assembly. Try to keep in your mind, 41st session. Dear students, Bangladesh has been successful in resolving the disputes regarding the distribution of water of the Ganges and the issues of the hijack of Chattogram with India by following the rules of the United Nations about the peaceful settlement of long-term problems. The associate organizations of the United Nations serving to Bangladesh in many ways. Now, we will see about that. UNDP. UNDP stands for United Nations Development Program. United Nations Development Program. Dear students, UNDP was formed in 1965, but embarked on its journey in Bangladesh on 31st July 1972. UNDP had been working on eight projects named MDC. MDC that means Millennium Development Goals. Now, UNDP is working on 17 projects under Sustainable Development Goals. Try to keep in your mind, it had been working on 8 projects under Millennium Development Goals and now it is working on 17 projects under SDGs, that means Sustainable Development Goals. UNICEF UNICEF stands for United Nations Children's Emergency Fund. I'm getting you again. UNICEF stands for United Nations Children's Emergency Fund. United Nations has been working in Bangladesh to ensure the fundamental rights under privileges and especially girl children and for their rights of education and medical care. UNESCO UNESCO stands for United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. I am telling you again, UNESCO stands for United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. You know that UNESCO declared our Shundarbun as World Heritage. UNESCO recognized all types of heritage such as natural heritage, documentary heritage, etc. You know that the seventh month's oration of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman also declared by UNESCO as World Documentary Heritage. FAO, FAO, FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization. Dear students, FAO is working to ensure the food safety in different countries, as well as Bangladesh. WSO, who stands for 
World Health Organization, who was founded on 7th April. 7th April. 1948. That is why 7th April is observed as World Health Day. Try to keep in your mind. 7th April is World Health Day. Dear students, who is working in our country for supplying medicine and conducting immunization program? UNHCR. UNHCR stands for United Nations High Commission for Refugees. UNHCR is trying to mediate Rohingya issue in our country. Dear students, you know that Rohingya came from Myanmar and UNHCR is trying to solve problems between two countries. And UNHCR also contributes to the expenses of refugee, refugee camps. UNIFEM, U-N-I-F-E-M. UNIFEM stands for United Nations Development Fund for Women. UNIFEM is trying to solve financial problems of women in our country. UNFPA, United Nations Fund for Population Activity. I'm telling you again, UNFPA stands for United Nations Fund for Population Activity. UNFPA is trying to improve the situation of population in Bangladesh. Dear students, I hope all of you have understood that how the organizations of United Nations are working in Bangladesh to develop our socio-economic and cultural situation. That's all for the class. See you again in the next class. Allah.